So I got a question saying, hey, there were people, uh, security, with guns at the protest last night. What's going on with that? And then uh, I said, you know, uh, some people use different measures for security. Uh, it is what it is. Some people don't have any people with guns. They don't like people with guns there. Some people have a whole bunch of guns at the protest and they got, you know, right to carry and licenses and everything. Uh, so the, then the, the person then said, you know, I would prefer people leave their guns at home. Okay, so my response to that is I would prefer police, you know, leave their guns at home too. Uh, I would prefer the white supremacists stay home as well. So, but the reality we live in is that they don't and they pull up White supremacists will pull up to a protest with the with the AR-15 ready to go. The measures they've taken have put protesters into a mindset that they have to protect themselves. Um, and and mind you, those were the guns you saw. That is the end of that sentence. You know, there's probably because people feel the need to protect themselves because this state there's been state sanctioned violence and. It, it, uh, it, uh, executions of people of color, poor people, unhoused folks, women, non-binary trans folks, state-sanctioned killings, people feel the need to protect themselves. You can't push somebody into a corner and start poking on their head until they like slap your hand out the way and say, don't do that again. Folks are going to start protecting themselves. And this is only because, and, and I mean, the Stillwater, I mean, there were several, like half a dozen men, white dudes, that, that were packing openly, and then others that you could see the piece. They were, uh, they were printing, as they say in the military. They were printing. And you just like, that guy has a gun. They all had guns, and they were coming out the bar with guns. That's wild. So the logic there um, it, it, that I've seen is that they want to protect the rally um, or at least give the presentation that there is security there uh, so that white supremacists know um, that, that their, their uh, tactics of, of fear and intimidation are not going to work and they're going to be addressed. Uh, and, and, and nobody's, you know, nobody's pointing the gun at anybody. Or, I mean, at least not from what I saw. I didn't even, somebody sent me a picture of this, so I didn't even see these dudes. I didn't even know there were guns at the rally. Um, but, but people feel the need to protect themselves. Uh, and everybody has a different thing about that. Somebody, some people are pacifists. They don't carry guns. Some people do. Um, and it would probably behoove you to just show up and talk to somebody that has a gun and be like, hey, why do you have this? Uh, so yeah, there's that. And um, yeah, I guess in, in, we all want to live in a world where cops don't have guns and white supremacists don't have more guns than cops, uh, but we don't. And, and so that's why people are showing up to protect themselves. So that's that. If you have any more questions about that or comments to you know, tear that whole thing apart, which you probably will, you can just type below. All right, we'll see you in the next video.